Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. You guys, I wanted to do a quick video this morning because once again, we have the whole bullying thing coming out and this whole thing with Megan. So let's take a look at that, shall we? In this article that I'm looking at, Megan and Harry claimed that William and Kate bullied him and Megan and did not make them feel welcome to the family at all. And so I wanted to show these small clips to show what they said initially before they changed their narrative. Here we go. His families, I imagine. Yes, his family's been so welcoming and... and You've met quite a few of them, actually. I have, on both sides of his family, his mom's yeah. side as well, which has been really important to me too. But um, yes, the family has been great and over the past year and a half, we've just had really nice time getting to know them and progressively helping me feel a part of, of not just the mm. institution, but also part of the family, which has been really, um, really special. I'm trying to track them down. And let's not forget these statements. Remember this? What was it like introducing Megan to your father and your brother? And William was longing to meet her and so was Catherine. So, you know, they're being our neighbours, we managed to get, get that in a couple of, well, quite a few times now. Um, and Catherine's been absolutely um, been wonderful. amazing, as is William as well, he, you know, fantastic support. And then my, my father as well, we had, you know, a couple of, no, more than that. We've had... A handful of teas and meetings and, and all sorts of gatherings over, over at his place as well. So, um, no, the family together have been absolutely, um, you know, solid support. And, and my So notice that as soon as it became convenient, they changed their tune and said the family was bullying, the family was unhelpful, and they didn't do anything to help Megan, completely ignoring the previous statements they made. Moving on, we have a new allegation that came out that Megan Markle was bullying her staff. And when you look back, she lost, like nine staff members in like 18 months. So do I think that she could have bullied these people? Oh, absolutely. Now, the part that I find interesting is that Megan wants people to have their voices. The women should have their voices. They should be able to speak. And yet these people can't because they were forced to sign non-disclosure agreements by Megan. Let me just say, I think Good Morning Britain said it best. I love Piers Morgan. You know, he pointed out that the palace didn't report this back when it happened, and they would not report it now because it makes them look bad, you know, that they pushed this under the rug, that Megan was being such a bully. But I think what happened was the people that are in the palace got upset that Megan and Harry have behaved the way they have and they've continued to behave the way they are and they didn't get their say and they're going to make sure they get their say. Now let's just say this is not just some allegation. There's actual proof. There is an email that was written um, by one of their people. The person that was their communications chief at the time is the one who wrote it and he wrote it to somebody who's now a UK parliament member. Now, the email excerpts, which I've put here, um, are quite explicit about how she's bullying people. She's always got somebody in her sight. She's already, you know, always trying to hurt somebody. I guess she doesn't feel big enough unless she's hurting somebody. And then apparently Harry went and spoke to Jason Knopf and said, no, I don't want you to pursue this. And right after that, Jason put in his resignation. Now, Megan's lawyers responded saying that she's saddened by the latest attack on her character because she herself has been a target of bullies and, you know, whatever. But you know what I found interesting about that statement? It was not a denial. Now, for those of you who are interested, I did do a um, video about some hazing that apparently Megan was involved with in December, and you can find that video on my channel. And that video essentially points out uh, that every time she's done something wrong, it's been covered up, shoved under the carpet, you know, that she's basically gotten away with it. I think that's part of her problem. Now, the next thing that came up that I found very interesting was the fact that Megan wore these fabulous over million dollars chandelier earrings at a event, and they were given to her by the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. Now, when people asked her where the hell these earrings came from, she told her aides to tell them that they were on loan, when in fact, they were a wedding gift to her. Now, the part that I find really interesting is that this 
was occurring, she was wearing these three weeks after the murder of a journalist in the embassy where the guy was torn apart, chopped up, put in suitcases. She was well aware of this. And she's also supposed to be a champion for women's rights. We know how women are treated there, but she had no problem wearing the earrings. And by the way, her attorneys have since written to the paper and admitted that she lied. Well, there won't be a lawsuit there because number one, she admitted that she lied. And number two, she never sues when there's proof against her. I wanted to give you an update on the dog. The name that won was Finn, F-I-N-N. -N. So welcome to my little baby Finn. Now I told you guys that he's cowering in the corner and he's peeing when he's upset. And I wanted to show you a video and show you how he's doing. Here we go. Would you like to come out? You don't have to be afraid. Are you hugging on your toys? How about this? Doop, boop, 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 boop. No, it's gonna be okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. Don't worry. So as you can see, we've definitely made progress. He lets me touch him now. He's not quite cowering in the corner anymore. Definite improvement. So we're just gonna keep going. And I will continue to keep you guys updated on his progress with each video. So what do you guys think about all of this? I mean, I can sort of understand, and well, not sort of, I can completely understand why the staff at Buckingham Palace came out and spoke out on behalf of, you know, the staff that were mistreated. I, I get it. I totally get it. I think that Megan is saying that they're only doing this because um, they're trying to deflect from what's going to happen in the Oprah narrative. I really want your opinions on what you guys think about all of this. Personally, I think it's I think it's going to go down badly with Meghan and Harry. I think they're going to come off looking terrible in the interview. I think that this is just going to go more against them because people realize that she's not the person she said she was. Don't forget to leave your thoughts, comments, suggestions above, below, everywhere. I love to read them. You guys know how much I love them. Let me know what's happening. And as always, have a great day.